It's always been my instinct to make art. I think my strength is probably a sense of wonder and seeing potential in things to, to turn into something else. So when you come to a place like this, you're just completely subsumed by it. My name is Rosie Kaiser, and I'm an artist who primarily paints, and sometimes that art can be collage or assemblage or just a collection of objects that have an interesting relationship. One of the things I love about being here is all these forms, all these patterns that are really specifically tied to this location on the earth. And to let that be a driver for making work. It's so singular. There's a different thickness in the air at dusk. When the light is low, the colors appear different. Ways of feeling blind when it's turning dark. Different sounds that kind of hold that space of shifting daytime into nighttime. I really find bodies in motion interesting. It's a true luxury to be able to spend time just wondering about forms, exploring them, allowing them to be yours for a moment. The printmaking part too, I think is great to be able to do here because there's so many existing structures and patterns that it's it's already there. It's just a matter of like, you know, noticing it and capturing it. Yeah, it's just, I think it speaks about potential and just using your imagination and wondering what you can do with something and to be in the moment and to use what you have. Having these kind of constellated piles and, and beginnings of things allows me to generate a process that's more mediated by my body and less by my, my brain. I need to be in a flow that allows me to generate and marry parts or something that I wasn't anticipating, allowing that to then be the driver for the next thing. And so I think that my work really exists in a sort of elastic, wild space between the gritty and the beautiful and the brutal and the imagined. And I would hope that from what I make, that people see flexibility in how to participate in this world and a kind of levity and knowing that there is no right or wrong answer. It's all just this kind of grand experiment and um, that it's so short and so fragile and so beautiful. Beyond the work, I will be going home with a much deeper sense of calm and a reminder that I feel most myself and most creative when I'm kind of allowed to collapse my body into my natural environment. And that's um, a massive gift 